Sorry for your loss. Being the second child you are losing. Ah, it's not easy. Um, I will advise you if you can quit and try other options. Um, I want you to ponder on it. I'm not trying to force you, but it's your choice to make. The doctor, you could have done something. Ah. We could have done something. Ha! We tried our best. So, my son is gone? I'm very sorry. Ha! It is gone. Ah! Good. Ha, Konji. I'm only Leola. I'm a fillet que she show. I'm a de. I'm a lot of them in the country show. Ha, Konji. Time is no longer on my side. Don't you feel it's time for me to have a grandchild? Last week, Yashola's last son, who is younger than you, had his fifth child last week. Mommy, why are you bringing this up? Why can't I bring it up, Akonji? I must do this. What are you and your wife still doing? What are you still doing? I need my grandchild. Moreover, you know the position of your father in this society, Akonji. Even in the family. Akonji, don't you feel his name shall outlive him? Well, we need to we'll find something to do about Quickly it. Quickly find something to do about it, oh. Akonji, I'm tired of waiting. Mommy, calm down. Just calm down. We know what you are doing. How long will you continue to do this to yourself? For how long will you continue to hurt yourself like this? This won't even solve the slightest problem, my brother. It's high time. I feel it's high time that you, you stand up like a man and bounce back. See, this won't even help you. You're just hurting yourself. But wait, I think I have a solution. A solution, you see? Yes. Really? Oh, don't tell me you're trying to bring up Sandra, my secretary, set you up again. See you. I know, saying I'm waiting day your mind you go still do. You two get strong, get come off it. <laughs> I gave you a solution, you're not ready to take it. I'm okay, leave it. That's nice. Huh? <sighs> but, you know, this situation is something we could have earlier avoided if we are taking a decision, better decision and a wiser decision. How? Knowing fully that my wife's genotype is SS and mine is foolishly went ahead to get married because we're blinded by love. Just love. Which cost us our own our first son, John, to die at the age of five from the dreadful hand of sickle cell. After some years we decided to take and back on the same journey. But now, you see, it's still I don't know. It, it is real. It is real. Little did I know that the, the decision made earlier would later become my greatest mistake. It is real. Don't cry. Love, don't carry me. Go where I don't know. It's real. What do I do? 
this way. See, stop hurting yourself. You're hurting yourself this way. I know everything will be better. <laughs> it is well. For how? It is well. There will be light surely at the end of the tunnel. It till is when? Real. Till when? It till is when? Real. Till it is when? Real. Take art. Till when? Take art and stand up like a man. <sighs> as I have earlier said. Oh, Ani. Let me adjust your color. Mm. Look who we have here. <laughs> Handsome as usual. Your food is ready. Let's eat. Oh, food. Um, I'm okay. Thank you. Okay, but you didn't have anything yesterday. And you'll be back late from work. Let me pack it up. I said I'm okay. I'll be fine. Koburu, at least let's have a short prayer before you go. I'm sorry I won't be able to join you with the prayer because uh, I, have an, I have an important meeting to attend and you know. Why not pray for your two, you and your husband? No, let's just quickly have... Madam! Madam, what's your problem? I said I'm late, I'm late, I'm late. Which part do you not understand? Tell me. I'm late. Madam. Wale. Wale. I knew it. I thought as much. I knew from the very first day we came back from the hospital that something was wrong. Three weeks ago you came back home stinking of alcohol. For you to tell me that, that it was splashed on you. This isn't you. This isn't the man that led me to the altar 12 years ago. Could it be your friend's idea? Or is it Enough, you? young woman! Enough! What's your problem? What's your problem? Can you... Wale! 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 Hello? Hello? Church. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, Church. Hallelujah. Wow. That was a wonderful ministration by the choristers. And I must confess that I was greatly blessed by their ministrations. You see, brethren, that choir ministration was not a mistake. It was not a coincidence. It came at the right time. While preparing for today's message, the Holy Spirit told me to talk about what the choristers ministered. The choir's ministration was centered on steadfast faith. Faith in terms of trials. Faith in terms of temptation. Faith when you think all hope is lost. You can't find anything to do, you can't find joy, you can't find peace. You've lost your rest. You think you've lost everything like Job. But when you have this faith, you have all. And how can you get this faith? Jesus says in Matthew chapter 11, verse 28, Come unto me, all ye that are labored and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. He said, you should come. He is going to give you rest. I know someone is here today. He needs rest. She needs rest. How can you get it? By coming to Jesus. That's the only way. To get your rest, to get your peace, you need Jesus. 
Jesus is waiting for you to come so he can give you rest. Can somebody say, Jesus, I need your rest? Jesus, I need your rest. Can you tell Jesus, I need your rest? Jesus, I need your rest. Can you take one minute to pray that prayer? Jesus, I, Jesus, need, your I need your rest. Jesus, I need your rest. In this time. He's listening to time, you. He can, can hear you. Jesus, I need your rest. Oh Lord, restore, restore peace. My... Restore peace. Restore Let there be unity again in this home. Fix in the mighty home. name of Jesus. Minister unite to my this home. Husband. In the name of Jesus. Restore my Let home. In the name oh Lord, of unite Jesus. peace. In Father, the name of Jesus. My in home. Jesus' mighty name we have played. Amen. Oni, uh, aren't you meant to be at work? I can't believe this. Did this just happen? What happened? Sweetheart. Yes. I had an encounter with God today. Ah, hallelujah. Like, I heard God speak to me. Mm. God showed me things. Ah, I've offended God. Mm. I shouldn't have done this. Will God ever accept me back? Will He still forgive me? Don't ah. talk Don't. like that. The Bible says in 1 John 1 9 oh God, that if we so confess our so sins to Him, He's faithful God, and so just to I forgive know, us. I know. And cleanse us from all unrighteousness. I'm, I'm not still worthy. I'm not worthy. Don't talk. I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy. I should have done all this. I should have done all this. I'm sorry. It's okay. Ah. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done what I did no. to you today. I shouldn't have yelled out at you. I should have always listened to everything you have to say. I should have created time for you. It's okay. I'm really sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Right, I'm sorry. Can you ever forgive me? Yes. Pastor. Ah. Ah, sir. In Jesus' name. Amen. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, Lord, we thank you, Lord God, for the restoration of peace and joy. There are times we expect God to intervene and do something, but it appears as if God is not coming forth or as if God is not there. This is to admonish you to be strong in faith and to come to God broken, irrespective of what you are passing through. The Bible says, a broken and a contrite heart with God not despise. Today, God is still searching for broken vessels. Who can still trust him? And do you know why? Broken vessels are channels of living water.